and here we are with another video on the channel this time around I want to talk about something I recently did a video on but I have more information now and that is a brand new bike that has been released by Ride One Up. It's a new model and uh, they were hinting at it, teasing with it, but now they have it available for pre-orders. So I'm gonna talk a little about, bit about some of the specs on it. I'm not gonna give all the specs because there's a lot of specs. They, they really tell you a lot of details on the bike if you go to their website. So if you wanna to go to their website, you can check out more. But I'm going to give you some of the some of the things that uh, kind of highlight some of the things that uh, kind of stand out to me on the bike. So it's called first of all the bike is called the Rev One. So it's Rev R E V V One, and get by this car here. And there's two versions of the bike so you have a choice of uh, a hardtail or full suspension so and I'm gonna run through some of the differences uh, there's not there's not many similarities actually there's a lot of differences in getting more with the full suspension so anyway I'll run through some of the stuff so first of all they both come with the 52 volt 750 watt Bafang rear hub motor geared so they both have that and then they both have hydraulic disc brakes for piston and I'm trying to think and think now I can't remember there was something else I think that was the same but maybe it'll come back to me but those things uh, are similar but then it changes when you go for example with the hardtail the controller is a 25 amp 52 volt 25 amp whereas the full suspension is a 28 amp not a lot of difference but still i think you a little bit there the other one right away that will stand out would be the uh the battery so it's uh they're both 52 volt the hardtail is a 15 amp hour and the full suspension is a 20 amp hour so you get five amp hour more if you buy the full suspension bike uh, so it's dependent on what you want to do if you want to pay a little more I'll get to the price coming up actually let's go this way So the bike, I should mention too, I know what else came to mind now, what they both have. They both have headlight, taillight, brake lights, and signal lights on these uh, both bikes. They both come with fenders, front and rear fender. They're very sharp looking. If you uh, go to their website and take a peek, these are really cool looking bikes. I like, I like the look of it. Uh, the tires are different so I can't remember the, the exact I can tell you the brand name but I can't tell you the exact tire I can't remember what they are but they're a little bit different each one and uh, so the uh, hardtail are Kenda tires and the full suspension are CST tires they're both 20 inch by 4 fat tire The seat, uh, I believe, is going to be the same on both. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. 
uh, the colors, I should say the colors, they both come in the same colors. You have a choice of gray or green. I'm not sure the tone of green, if it's dark green, I think it's probably darker green, but so there is that. And like I say, if you want to get into the finer details of everything, just go to their website at Ride One Up and look for the Rev One, that's R-E-V-V -V One. Uh, now let's get to the price. So, oh, I should say first off, shipping is free in the 48 states except Hawaii and Alaska. You might want to check those. Those are different and also Canada. They will ship to Canada. I believe it's $100 to ship to Canada. So not too bad. Um, so the price for the hardtail is $18.95. And the price for the full suspension is $23.95. So, so, personally, I think the $500 is worth it. Um, to get full suspension, a little more battery, a little bit more controller. I think that, and, and, uh, and the full suspension, the rear suspension as well. So I think $500 is very reasonable. I, I would, uh, assuming you have the money to spend uh, that extra $500, I think I would definitely go for that. But if you can't, then $18.95 is also a good price for this bike. So uh, I definitely re recommend checking it out at Ride One Up uh, website. Um, these are, like I say, they're really cool looking. I, a comparable, if you want a comparable, I think the best comparable bike that comes to mind for me to think about uh, comparing it to would be the Aerial Rider X-Class. The one difference would be the Aerial Rider X-Class has a thousand watt motor. I think if this bike would have had a thousand watt motor, I think that would have really completed it. But I think at 52 volts, 750 watt should be pretty good. You know, I think that uh, the Newton meters of torque is going to be uh, 90 also as well on the bike. So I think that uh, 52 volt 750 might be pretty good because uh, I have uh, on the uh, rad 750 watt 48 volt and I'm not sure what the controller is on the rad rover and on the uh, grizzly here I believe each controller is 30 amp uh, amp uh, controller for each motor so and that's a thousand watt motor so I think for um, what's out there today, I think that bike is right in line with the cost. I think that's a pretty good, a pretty good price there. It fits right in line. They're not overcharging. You know, uh, I, in my opinion, compared to what else is out there. Uh, so you might want to take a look at this uh, this uh, Rev One from Ride One Up. It might uh, pique your interest if you're looking for a bike. They, uh, I should mention too, they're taking pre-orders as of right now. And you'll want to get in on a pre-order pretty quick because they don't expect the first run to last too long. And if you want to get in on the first run, then I suggest uh, if you... Uh, have an interest in it to uh, go check out their website and if you uh, want to purchase one I'd, I'd purchase one ASAP and uh, if you purchase it now they're uh, saying that it would ship in March I don't remember if there was an exact date in March like exact day of the month but sometime in March they would ship 
which is pretty nice so uh, yep that, that's another bike to uh, look at if you're looking for uh, a new bike or a first bike be a pretty cool first bike I gotta tell you um, it'll be interesting to see when we start seeing some uh, actual bikes and some uh, reviews on them but as of right now we don't have that we just have all the specs to go on and by the sounds of it, it's going to be a hit, I think. Ride 1UP has a pretty good uh, reputation as well for bikes. I've uh, personally only seen one bike, but the guy, I talked to the guy, the owner of the bike, and he was really happy with his bike. So I don't remember the model or anything, but I just remember he had a Ride 1UP, and it was the first time I saw one, and uh, he was happy uh, with his bike. So go check them out if you're looking for a new bike and you're willing to pay in that 19, 18.95 to 23.95 range. See if uh, that bike might uh, be the one for you. So that's gonna do it for this video on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, go ahead and hit the notification bell and you'll get notified. So once again, thank you for joining me today to talk about the new Rev 1 by Ride 1 Up. And until next time, oh, I should mention too, it is a moped style. Uh, I should have mentioned that off the top. It's a moped style bike. So it's similar to the Grizzly that I'm on now, this style of bike, like the Scrambler style. So uh, I apologize for not mentioning the style of bike that it is off the top. But once again, thank you for joining me today and until next time. Take care.